You got people that truly believe that Australia is not black. When I was little, I thought that the crocodile hunter was Australian. I feel I felt very sad when he got killed. I felt sad. I was like, oh my God, the crocodile hunter just died. Australia took a loss. Now I'm happy. I'm happy the stingray stung the shit out of his ass. Get your bitch ass out of Australia and out the water. I'm happy that was a black stingray. It had to be. I think one of them niggas they killed, God probably reincarnated them niggas, reincarnated them niggas into a stingray, and he killed the dog shit out of Steve Irwin. Get your bitch ass out. On God. I'm happy now. At first, I was sad. As a kid, I was really sad. I was sad that Steve Irwin got died, like got killed. Now I'm happy. Get out. You shouldn't have never been in Australia in the first place. You shouldn't have never been there. You shouldn't have never been in there messing with crocodiles. You shouldn't have never been in Australia in the first place. Good. Sting his bitch ass to death. Wow. No, oh, man, they really lied to us. They had us thinking that they had us thinking that Australian niggas was like them. They really tricked the entire world into believing that it's no, like I'm speaking from a kid that from Watts coming up. I'm a kid from Watts coming up. I'm a kid from Watts coming up. I really believed in all my heart that Australia was all white. I never even knew that there was such thing as the people that were already there. Look, to all the people, don't feel bad to being Caucasian. Don't feel bad to being British or what the wait. First of all, that's one of the booby traps. Niggas call themselves Caucasians, Britishes, Irishes, Londonans, European man, you niggas got all type of shenanigans, man. Just say I'm white. Damn, stop trying to separate. Look, to all the white people in there, don't never feel bad for being white. Don't never feel bad for being what you are. Because what you are is what you are. What you should do is hold your head up high and walk through this world with oppressive mentality. Don't hold your head down and be like, I feel sorry, because you ain't going to do nothing but lie. You're going to hold your head down, say you feel sorry, but you still going to live in your nice house and your nice neighborhood, and you ain't going to give nothing up. So don't, don't, don't. Don't come in here talking about, you know, you feel sad, and you don't, my nigga. You don't. Cut the crap. You're not about to give nothing back. You're not about to go be homeless. You're not about to go help the homeless. You're not about to give nobody your house. You ain't going to give nobody your money. You're ain't. You not. So just stop it. Stop it right there. All right. The crazy part, all of it, right? The crazy part is they not, they not, they didn't only do this to Africa. They did this to America. They did this to Australia. They did this to London. They did this to Sparta. They did this to India. They did this to every fucking plant place on the planet. Egypt, whatever you want to call it. All Africa. They, Hawaii. They did this to China. They did this to everywhere. The whole planet. The whole entire... Yeah, London. What you thought? London was white? What you thought? Europe was white? You think people originated in Europe? No. No, you can't beat me, dog. I promise you, you can't beat me. I promise you, you won't be able to beat me in basketball. At all. Michael Jordan can't beat me. Kobe can't beat me. Nobody can't beat me. But going back to what I was saying, they did this. Look, Europe is named after a black lady. This is the craziest part about it. This is what y'all don't even know. This is information that y'all will never know because all y'all do is listen to rap music all day. And rap music ain't going to tell you shit, but destroy yourself. You niggas listen to rap music all day and watch uh, Power 
and watch Say the Last Dance and all type of stupid shit. Watch all the football games, all the basketball games. Of course you ain't going to know this because all of this shit is designed. All of this shit is designed so you don't never think backwards. It's all designed so you can think forward. So yes, Europe is named after a black lady. Are you familiar with the Etruscans? Are you familiar with all the native people that was just native? So look, my thing is this. I'm not a rapper. Rappers don't take boo-boos on stage. Rappers don't do none of the stuff I do. I'm not a rapper. I'm just a person that understands that I can use my voice on a me on an extra instrument, which is also a vibration, which is technically language, to say the things that I need to say. I'm not a rapper at all. At all. When you really sit here and you put things into perspective, the craziest part about life is understanding we fucked, right? We are fucked. We're fucked on a global scale. We're fucked. And the craziest part about that being fucked is there is literally nothing we could really do about it. All forms of protest and march and all that, all that is part of the plan. Protests, marching, all that, they allow all that shit because there is nothing you really could do about it. So, in history books, they tell us that they were doing nuclear bomb testing. No, 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 nigga, there wasn't nuclear bomb testing. They was wiping out entire countries. They was wiping out entire civilizations with nuclear missiles. So, I just want to say this. Dear black people, the fact that we still here should show us how strong we are as a, a race. Hey, whoever that is, what's your name? Hi. Do not say Freemasons run everything. This is another form of the booby trap. Freemasons are not the evil people. Freemasons are actually the good people that really understand. So you got the fake masonry devil work niggas and you got niggas that are free. The word free, I'm free. I'm not going to church. I'm not doing none of the bullshit you niggas design. Also, the Illuminati. You got the devil worshiper niggas that's going to come in there and do all the wild shit. And you got the real enlightened ones, which is the real Illuminati on top. Everything is reversed. It's backwards. So, no, the Illuminati is not the bad people. And the Freemasons are not the bad people. It's the church and all the fucking hospitals and the Catholics and the European. All, those are motherfuckers. So, that's part of the epic scam that's been... That's part of one of the epic scams that's been tricked into society. Into society. It's one of the epic tricks that's been tricked inside the minds of the sheep. No, the Freemasons not the bad people. The Illuminati not the bad people. It's your fucking church. It's the bad people. So bigger than that. One of the craziest people, or one of the craziest things that I was really researching... Disease. Chemical warfare and disease. In order, you got to think, there has been multiple tries of mass extinction. You know that, right? There's been multiple times motherfuckers try to wipe us off the face of the earth. We still here, dog. We like roaches. My nigga. We like roaches. We still here. They try to wipe us off the face of the earth, my nigga. Disease, bro. Disease. Real live disease, my nigga. 
everything, bro. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, all that shit is implanted in the hood. That shit is given to us through food. It's given to us through vaccinations. It's given to us, bro. It's fucking population control. So the babies can come out fucked up with all type of shit. Chicken pops, monks, the plague. All this shit was given to us. They tell you in history, the black plague wiped out the natives. They tell you this. In, in, in school, they tell you the black plague wiped out the natives. Where the fuck the black plague come from? Gonorrhea. Why does it start with Ghana? You know Ghana is an actual city. Where is the, where was gonorrhea actually started in Ghana? As an experiment. Yo, this is the fucked up part about it. They give us diseases, then tell us to go to the hospital, it even fuck us up even more. It's so wild. Chicken pox, smallpox, measles, mumps, all that shit. It's so wild. So think about this. I want you to really put this into perspective. We don't look at the words that are in front of us. And the words that are in front of us are clear as day. German. Germ men. <laughs> Germ men. Germ men. Germ men. Germ men. Germ men. Germ men. Germ. Men. Ah, they got us. I'm out of here, G. them dumbass niggas dropped my phone what's good Corey one of them niggas dropped my phone so when I finally got back to the phone and the game was over I was like oh shit y'all niggas missed it anywho yeah typical 8 points 1 dunk 10 assists you feel me typical but I'm on my way back to the house now I don't really play too much with weak niggas. I just get a little up and down and get up out of there. You feel me? You know, when you play too much with niggas who ain't really that good, you get hurt. So you ain't really supposed to play too much with niggas that get that's weak. You just, once you start getting the sweat and the little drip, you feel me? That's still time to go. I mean, just get off the court. All right. So, um, no, I'm just keeping it real. Like, if you want to avoid any form of injury as a not professional player, like a, a regular, like 24 hour fitness professional, you feel me, or a regular open run player, rule number one don't play with weak niggas. And if you are going to play with weak niggas, go 40%. And when you go 40%, as soon as you start sweating, get off the court. Get all the way off the court. Because if you don't, you're going to get hurt. Because I'm going to tell you how you're going to get hurt. One of them weak ass niggas going to say something stupid to you. And you're going to get mad. And you're going to try to play hard. And the minute you try to play hard with weak niggas, you're going to get your bitch ass hurt. This is actual facts. One of them weak ass niggas going to say, you can't stick me. And he going to hit a three on God. Then what's going to make it even worse. What's going to make it even worse. The nigga gonna keep making it. And that's what's gonna make you really get mad. Cause you're gonna be getting your ass tore apart by a bump. 
He gonna be hitting all type of Carl Malone threes. Oh God, you gonna be mad as a motherfucker, try to play hard. Oh God, and then that's when he gonna do some stupid shit, gonna try to box you out. He gonna box you out on the pass. Oh God, you gonna pass the ball, he gonna box you out. You gonna sprain your finger or you gonna twist an ankle. You gonna be mad as a motherfucker. And then you are gonna be sitting there with a sore ankle or a sore something saying, I knew I shouldn't have been playing with these dumb ass niggas. Facts. So, yeah, I know when to get the fuck up out of there. I play one at these gyms out here in Orange County and I play one game and get up out of there. Or if I play more than one game, I'm not playing no defense, none, zero. God, I'm not crossing half court. Give me the ball, shoot. Oh, my mama. Oh, one and one, I'm up out of there. One game win out of there. Man. Look, keep it real with you. If I don't see more than five black people on the court at one time, I will not be playing long and I will not be playing hard. I am a reverse racist basketball player. If I don't see more than eight black people in the gym, you will not catch me going nowhere near 60%. I'm sorry. At all. Hey, no disrespect to no other race. I'm sorry, G. It just... Keep it real, G. If I walk in the gym and it's not predominantly black people, I'm not playing hard. Sorry. Just not. You know what's so fucked up? My body won't even let me play hard on God. My body be like, oh, it's a bunch of... Oh, I'm about to fuck over them. Yo, now, I ain't gonna lie. Now I see why everybody hate us on God. Black people low-key. We low-key bullies. We, bu we, be, we be making niggas feel unconfident and we making niggas feel bad about themselves without us even knowing on God. Other races be looking at us in pure despite. My mama, we get in the gym, no warm up, nigga do a windmill and shit. Other races be like. Oh God, nigga don't stretch or nothing. Nigga 5'2. Five 5'2 two. Five two don't stretch or nothing. Get come straight in the gym, windmill. Oh God, other races be like, I can't wait till I get old. Nigga. Oh God. Niggas be whispering, nigga under they. Nigga. No, being black literally like a superpower. No, I ain't even gonna lie to you, my nigga. Being black really like is cheating. Like it's really like a cheat code. Like, oh God, it's like a power. The average black nigga, the average black person is a 97 overall. <laughs> 97 overall with survival badge. Average black man, 97 overall with survival badge. Oh God, is it? We automatically know how to survive. I swear, we like cheaters. Oh, my mom, I made three shots in the road. They just stopped playing on God. Nigga said, oh, man, it's over. I said, damn, you ain't going to at least try to play hard. He's like, you're making all the shots. I was like, isn't that what you're supposed to do in basketball? He said, you're good. I said, my nigga, I'm not even playing. Hey, that's a good question. What are antibiotics made of? That's a very good question. I don't know. They like little micro machines that go inside your body and fix things. I don't know. Hey, that's kind of a crazy question when you think about it. What are antibiotics made of? They like little micro robots that go inside your body and do mechanical work. kind of crazy when you think about it. They 
go inside your body and tune up. They, they like tune up and it's weird. Kind of dope at the same time, but weird. But at the end of the day, right? Like at the end of the day, I completely understand what's going on life so I need y'all to do me a favor I need all of y'all to do me a very very big favor I need all y'all to do me a very very big favor I need you to go to my Instagram and click the link in my bio go watch that that will be our next discussion for when we get back on here. Go to the link in my bio and watch that whole documentary. And when we are done, and when you are done watching that documentary, that will be the next thing that we talk about when I get back on live. So go watch that right now, and then we'll tune back in. The link is in my Instagram bio. Yo, I remember 